Overall, how's the transition been coming to coming to Oklahoma the last few months? Um, it's been fun. Uh, the OU community is really nice and welcoming. Uh, I got to see my first, you know, college football game. You know, I'm a guy that's international student coming from a school that didn't have football so it's been amazing kind of to kind of see what that community's like OU versus Texas rivalry stuff like that has been you know interesting to see and hopefully that that carries over to you know us this year so what was your experience at the at football just that whole process for you said you didn't really have you had experienced something like yeah, that before it, what was that like yeah it's, it's a it's a big culture shock I would say um I, I don't know you guys you guys have experienced football your whole lives so for me to kind of just never witnessed a football game to kind of be in that atmosphere to see how crazy it is how how much the fans love it how much you know the community supports it is it's, it's phenomenal what was it about coming to um I, I i would say the community um i think porter himself is just you know a very loving and genuine you know caring coach um and you know like he's somebody that will push you and and push you to be a better person not just basketball player but a person in, in life so just making that connection him you know meeting my mom getting my mom here on campus on that visit and them connecting also helped be a big part of it just she like we just felt welcome felt you know like that family atmosphere and then also just getting to meet certain guys that are already here like Jay Cole he was here on my visit so I got to meet him for a little bit and as soon as I connected with those guys I, I, I knew this was a home so what was the portal process like for you just how hectic was it chaotic was it pretty Easy? Was it easier than you thought? Stressful? More stressful than you thought? Um, you know, the the portal is never the easiest thing. You know, you have a lot of people reaching out to you. Uh, but uh, I felt like early on, I tried to just narrow down my list, try to make sure, you know, who I knew I wanted to talk to. You know, as soon as soon as I figured that out, it was it was, it was fairly simple because you just weed out. You try to be a, a, as completely honest with people as possible. So. When you when did Porter kind of get involved uh, with you? Maybe when did he reach out to you? How early in that process did that kind of happen? Um, probably, you know, probably maybe like a couple of days after I got in the portal. Um, Coach Gates was probably the first person that I talked to. Um, after that, I talked to Coach Porter. Um, but he got he got involved pretty early. Other than attending a football game with 82,000 fans, you know, what have been some of the primary differences between, you know, being in Norman preparing to play in the SEC and being a part of this program? Um, I would just say, you know, the prep, like like you said, uh, what's different is the preparation. Um, you know, learning a new coach, learning a new system. Um, what Coach Porter um, brings to the table is his intensity, his attention to detail, and just also, like, just, you know, what we're doing on a daily basis in the weight room, nutrition-wise, like, it's all a, a, a very different type of approach, you know, to make sure we're our bodies are right but also our mind are right to going into the games and into the conference so. is it different is it more intense is it more focused than what you've experienced uh, for sure it's definitely a lot more intense um you know we have you know we battle every day i'd say in practice um you know getting being able to go good on good is is, is a blessing honestly not having injuries and that sort of thing so um yeah it, it'd probably be the biggest thing the most challenging thing is you know trying to find ways to make each other better and improve every day so yeah you're a guy that's played uh, a lot of college ball obviously but when you look at someone like jeremiah coming in first year of college what has stood out to you about him and, and the way he's transitioned and just the way he's played during the offseason um I, I would say you know him and he's just he's just a great basketball player and he's somebody that you know has unwavering confidence um i hope he can, can, continues to keep that throughout the year you know um throughout the highs and lows, the peaks and valleys of, you know, being a college athlete. But um, with him, I, I'd say, like, his vision, you know, his handle, and, you know, his athleticism. But he's also somebody that can really space the floor, too. He brings a lot to the table, and I hope that he gets to show that this year. The other guards that came with yourself, you guys are all veterans, with a lot of basketball, Duke, and Jay Don, and Bryce. Just how much does that help you and the other guys? You all have a lot of experience to lean on and kind of help each other adjust Man, it, it brings it brings so much because it's, you don't know what you don't know, right? And then you have guys that have been in other programs that might have learned things differently that, you know, while we're trying to learn this offense or this, you know, certain defense that we're playing here that might be able to teach you something in a different way that helps you, you know, turn that light bulb on, right? So, like, there's, there's so many things that everybody brings to the table, but also, like, you know, guys that just understand how to play basketball help you to just make your life easier, right? 
basketball is at its best when you're just playing simple and keeping things simple. So I think that's what this older group does, is, you know, kind of helps each other play simple, if that makes sense.